Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to prepare your model, or prepare the shades for exporting to IES Gem in Polynesian Rhino plugin. This is one of the features that we have recently added uh, to the Rhino plugin. So the version I'm using is version 152. So it should be available in version 152 and after. So IES has two different concepts for neighbor building and local shape. And the other thing is in IES, you want your geometry, your shade geometries to be as volume really for sun cast to consider them. Um, the way to do that in pollination is for neighbor building, you should be able, so one, you should create closed B-wrap. So you want to create shades from closed B-wrap objects. When you create the shade, it will deconstruct them in faces. But when you want to create them, you want them to be joined into a closed B-wrap. And this is how we know these, these will be grouped together when you go to IES. So because that one is context, you have to select side context uh, between different shade types that we have. So this will be translated to a neighbor shade. And now I can go here and see it. If you want them it to be named in a human readable name, so just select everything here, right click and edit properties and change the name to you know adjacent building for example anyway. okay so it will be adjacent building and for this one I'm going to select this as an example again create shade but this time instead of a side context I'm going to do the building shade I can do aperture or host that in IES all of them will be translated to local shade so let's do building shade then right click here and edit properties and I'm going to call it shape one and I'm going to do the same for this one hmm. And finally for this one, this renaming you don't really need to do it. Um, probably easier to rename them in IES even. We should probably have a better way of letting you name them too during the trans translation. So this is ready. I'm going to save as to IES. Uh, so here, gem. Uh, or actually is I, I, E, S, e geometry. So I call it actually a JSON building sample. Let's call it that. So this is now saved. If I go on the IES side and import this, you can already see from the colors that they are Sign so correctly. So this is the adjacent building one, um, and you can see like it's it's correct here. It has a volume shade one, shade two. So everything came in as expected, and you should be able to use them for uh, sun cast study uh, and and other stuff in IES. The other thing is if you actually you export it backwards. So if I go this and export this as a gem file. Sample, I add IES here from IES and then import this back to Rhino. So if I create a new file and then open that gem file that I just exported, so it is ISP gem from IES, you'll see that the Rhino plugin also understands um, the concept so these things are now if I go under shades like the event object and sort them by name they come in as groups if someone is really interested to know how we do it the way we do it if you go to edit properties and check data is actually there is a group ID that is assigned to all these shades and that are 
part of the same shape group. And that's how we uh, group them back and forth between IES and Rhino. You don't need to know this, but just if someone is curious, I like how this is, how the magic is really happening. Okay, I hope you can use this feature, useful feature, to keep your shades the way that they can work right away when you import them to IES. Enjoy the rest of your day.